I am so excited for this package that just arrived today. This is Lisa Eldridge's latest lipstick launch. I picked up three of her new shades. So I picked up the Cinnabar, I picked up the Blush Lightly um, lipstick, and then I got the Velvet Affair. So in her last launch, was almost a year ago, was it? Mm, quite a while ago. I missed out on that. I, I don't know, her website always crashes on the launch day and I missed out on it. I, can, I didn't get it and I knew she was like relaunching it. So I managed to pick up Velvet Affair as well as the lipstick and the gloss. So I also am really excited for her foundation, which is why I don't have anything on my face except moisturizer. So anyway, stop talking cat. Let me just show you what I got. <laughs> Guys, look at that. It says here, I can't wait to see your Lisa Eldridge makeup photos. Please tag me. <gasps> wow. What a big box for so many things. I'm definitely going to reuse this box. This is such a great box. So I picked up three of her lipsticks, one of her glosses, and I picked up one of her lip pencils. And then I got the sample set for light number two as a free sample. So I do hope one of these shades will suit me. I'm going to start off with the foundation first, then put the rest of my makeup before I go into the lip swatches. So the set that I got is the light... Uh, light set number two and when I'm looking at this I feel like the shade that would match me the most is O it's either O5 or O7 so I do list the foundation shades that suit me the best in the description section down below so you can just scroll down and take a look at those best shade match that I do have right now is Chantecaille's Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer in Alabaster, but then if you do know how the um, Surat Dewdrop foundations are, number three is actually a really good match for me. Sometimes when I get a little dark, I'll add a little bit of number five, and actually the combination is perfect. I can get away with just number three, and also in the Shantakai Future Skin Alabaster is my color. So looking at this, actually I feel like number seven would be a good shade for me. Number six and number eight, they they look a bit more warm, like there's a lot of more peach in it, warm peach tone. So I do like something a little cooler. So I'm going to go and try number 7 today and let's see how that goes. So I'm going to take a little bit with my hand and I'm going to put it here. Because usually you put it here and it's a good match. Yeah, it's a really good match to my neck. Yeah, I think this is my perfect color. So I'm going to put that all over my face with my finger first. Oh yes, this is going to be a good match for me. It goes on the skin so smoothly. It, oh gosh, it looks really good. Okay. I feel like my for my forehead, I could go a shade um, darker because my forehead is a bit darker. But I think, you know, it's okay because I can just bronze it up with a bit of bronzer. Okay, so this is one side done. It looks a little wider on the camera, but actually in real life, it looks, it matches my neck so well. I like the cool tone of it because I am a little cool tone. I'm not really very warm. But yeah, it's really perfect. So I'm going to finish off my whole face with number seven. So if you're looking, if you think you're the same, same like skin tone as me, um, number seven is a really good match. Looking at my skin right now, and it does set quite nicely. It's a little tacky, so it's not like super matte. Um, you know, it just feels like it's got this velvety touch to it, but at the same time, it's not like a matte finish. Mm, I think one more layer, I will get really good coverage. So let me read to you what Lisa says here. The foundation. This intelligently formulated self-setting foundation blends effortlessly to smooth and unify skin with a natural looking soft focus finish. The skin-friendly formula gives customizable medium coverage that fuses seamlessly with your skin. Start with a little and build to your desired level of enhanced perfection. So I absolutely agree that it sort of like self-set. It was effortless because effortless, I just used my hands and it does look really natural. Yeah, it doesn't even look like I've got foundation on. I just My skin just looks enhanced. It's sort of like now um, perfected in a way and it's kind of evened out my skin tone. There is that soft focus finish. 
I don't see any radiance. I'm not sure if that ra little bit of radiance is because it's really hot and I'm sweating. But um, yeah, I definitely one more layer and I would get um, heavier coverage. Not heavy, like a deeper, more coverage. So, oh my gosh, I am so excited and I'm so glad that this, like she comes with little sample sets. So if you're going to get any of her lipsticks, you do get to choose one. And I'm really glad that I took light set two. Because I think set one was too light for me. Yeah, I think in the pictures, it was just like the light set one were really, really fair. Kind of like really cool tone ladies because she had like models inside. And then this one on light set two, there was one Asian girl. And when I looked at her face, I was like, oh, that's kind of like my skin tone. So yeah, it, it is a really good match. So yeah, I am number seven, light number seven. Let me put a little bit of makeup on, put a little blush, and then we'll get into the lips. I've got some makeup on, so let's start with the lipstick. I'm going to start with Velvet Affair. This is from her previous launch. It was sold out so quickly, and I managed to get one. So from her website, this is an earthy, soft caramel brown with an easy-going, cool girl vibe. This is one of my... I just... Oh my gosh, I love this shade. So let's, let's try it out. I love a good brown, and this is a beautiful brown. This is sort of like the warmer sister of Fawn. Velvet Fawn is another favorite, like one of my favorite shades. I actually need to buy a new one because let me show you what happened to my Velvet Fawn. This is my Velvet Fawn and it kind of broke. It kind of broke, but I am not giving up on you yet. So I feel like, yeah, it is very similar to Velvet Fawn except Velvet Fawn is the cool tone version. If you don't like this, like you find it a bit too like, you know, a bit too grungy, then this Velvet Affair is, oh my gosh, it is the, it's the chocolate caramel version. Oh, very happy with this. I'll need to get another one of that. The next color is Blush Lightly. And reading from what she says is, as the name suggests, this is the softer, less intense version of the best-selling velvet blush as requested by you. A playful, wearable, medium, muted berry tone, which invokes... A just bitten lip flush with color. Ooh, okay. So it's sort of like a more reddish version, and unfortunately, this is sold out. So if you do like it, do like get on to her mailing list. Oh. Wow, that is a beautiful color. Immediately, it brightens up the entire face. Wow. It's really nice. And even though this is a velvet matte formula, it's not really matte. Of course, if you're like me, you have very dry lips and you have lines. Of course, they will emphasize a little bit of lines, but I, I find it still fairly like forgiving compared to those lip... Just, you know, this is like from um, another brand. I forgot the name. Um... Anastasia Beverly Hills, like those were not forgiving at all. Those look like you cracked. This is actually very, very, it's sort of like demi matte, like comfortable matte. So, oh my gosh, it feels really good on the lips. And this color is exactly how it says, a soft, medium berry tone. The last shade that I have is Velvet Cinnabar. <sighs> This is a beautiful color. Let me just read to you. Inspired by the dense, poisonous red mineral, which has been used as a precious resource around the world since at least the 10th millennium BC. During ancient rituals and rites of passage, it came to denote blood, victory, success, or even immortality. In its various form, including vermilion, it has been used as an artist's pigment and can be seen in the frescoes of ancient Rome. It is also used extensively as a cosmetic, most famously by Queen Elizabeth I to create an intensely dramatic and powerful effect on the lips and cheek. It is the deepest, richest, most powerful burnt ochre warm brown red imaginable. You're speaking to me, Lisa! This is, it's like rust, burnt rust, brown, red goodness. I am so excited. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna do it like how Lisa did it. Like she put it in her inner lip first. Can you guys look at that color? That's a color. And then I am going to line it with um, the lip pencil, which is in the same color. I don't get lip pencils very often because I find myself, I don't really use them very often, but this is the way Lisa does it. So she puts the color, let me just bring my mirror a little closer. She puts the color in the middle first and then she uses the pencil to sort of carve out. She does it the other way around. Like a lot of people will pencil the lip and then put the lip color in, but she does it this way. So I'm going to try it out. I think Lisa just converted me to lip liners because that was so easy and her lip liner just glide on my lips it felt like the thinner version of a lipstick and it was so easy to use but first let's talk about this color look at my teeth they are like sparkling white it is wow unfortunately for all of you this is sold out at the moment but the moment it gets back in stock, you need to grab it, okay? You need to grab this color. This is intense. My lips are dry now, so it will emphasize lines. So I would recommend that you really hydrate your lips beforehand. Give it a good scrub. I didn't give it a good scrub, but if you give it a good scrub, you're going to look fabulous. Oh my goodness. Seriously, we need to get out of this. We just need to get out of this like lockdown, okay? Really, because we need to party with these lips. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful color. Wow. Okay, let me remove that. I don't want to remove it, but I have to. So we're going to try the lip gloss. Lips are screaming for some hydration. I mean, like after that wipe and all. So this is her lip gloss or gloss embrace lip gloss Emble embellish your lips with a smooth non-sticky veil, veil of color while simultaneously replenishing them with nourishing oils and butter this gloss lip care hybrid with lip care ingredients including wild mango kernel butter butter akai akai is that how you pronounce it akai Berry oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. Mmm, so good. Okay, so the color that I got is uh, Velvet Affair. I said it like multiple times. So let's try it now. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yes, Lisa, this is a beautiful my lips but better glossier sexier i love it i need to get another one just in case it so sells out again because yeah no this is my lips but glossier look at how rich my lips look it's just like perfection people i hope i get this out like quickly for you guys just run out and get her stuff because they sell out and she takes a long time to restock and it's not her fault because, you know, she's not, she's like a small little like makeup, I mean she's not small but she, she does this all on her own like with her own uh, funds and all so I don't think she has like a, she's not like, a, you know, SD Lauder like you just churn them out, right? She is, you know, an independent, amazing makeup artist that knows her colors, knows her shades. In fact, I am going to place another order because when I placed the order on that night, I didn't get Velvet Intrigue, but I've been seeing a few people like post it and I think it might be a good color. So I am going to post another order. Like I shouldn't have, but I, I, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get another one of this lip, like this, this, this color, because this is going to run out. This is going to run out really quickly. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know my hair is like in a mess because I'm going to film another video after this. But this is an amazing launch. I am so happy I managed to pick up a few of the colors. If you are going to pick up any of the colors from Lisa Eldridge, 
let me know which one do you have or which one you're gonna grab because they're all kind of sold out right now but which are you gonna grab and let me know in the comment section down below um makeup yep i love it make sure you're subscribed hit that notification bell as well otherwise everybody please take care stay safe and